All right, so I brought both bikes in. I'm guessing that was probably his wife's bike, maybe? That was left by the side gate, and then that was left in the garage, so that was probably his. And I pumped up the tires, and they're holding air just fine. I don't hear any leaks or nothing, so we're, I'm going to check it in the morning. Uh, it rolls great. It, it spins just fine. The brakes work fabulous. I mean, talk about lucking out, man. I mean, it's ugly, sure, but I don't give a crap about that. So amazing. So it just needs to be cleaned. So I'll get it cleaned up. Um, I'll get some oil for the gears and stuff. And I mean, good lord, that's about all it needs. I don't need it to be pretty. I just need it to work. Right? So I'll probably lift the seat up just a little bit and then I'm gonna take this bad boy to the store in the morning. <laughs> Talk about lucky, man. Golly. It's got a horn and everything. I don't even know about this one. I didn't even touch it because I don't need to right now. Uh, it's smaller anyway, so it's probably hers, you know, so the only good thing about this is it has that rack on the back, which is kind of nice, but if I'm not mistaken, let's see, does it have, ah, uh, okay. So, I think I can just put that rack on here. Because it just bolts to the rear axle, right there on both sides. And then up here, it, uh, what does it do? Oh, it goes through a hole. Oh, that one. Is that the seat adjuster hole? <gasps> oh, yeah, I'm going to have a rack. Baby, baby, baby. Perfect. That's all I wanted this one for was the rack anyway. <laughs> I mean, I like that. I like that one a little bit better than this one. This one's kind of beat. Oh, it looks like it's interchange. Oh, it's the interchange. Of oh, my gosh. Smart people here in Japan. Smart peoples. Let's see. This is a really neat thing. Tohoku Morioka. 150 grams. So neat. And it's still got plastic on it. Like, that's the crazy part, is they left the plastic on it, so, like, all these stickers are in perfect shape. Like, not that. That's on the outside. That's on the outside. But that sticker is going to be perfect. Literally perfect. Even though the rest of it's garbage. <laughs> so, let's see. Does it work? Uh, it looks like it might. Well, does it uh, probably need something else on there? Some other, like maybe there's a. I don't. I don't have any clue how this works. Maybe that's an adjust. I don't know. Not worried about it right now. Oh, there you go. So there you go. You got weights back here. That is crazy cool. So cool. So cool. Yeah, there's some weights right there. Yeah, I guess you would take them off, I'm guessing, and put it like that. <laughs> Too neat. Too stinking neat. It looks like it's missing a couple, but... Okay. And this is kind of neat. Got one of these bad boys. And... Got blades and everything, so I don't know if he's given this to me or he forgot it here. We'll find out. <laughs> I'm sure he's probably not giving it to me. But who knows? There's a lot of cool stuff in here. Leftovers, you know? So, alright. Well, I got that. There's the futon. <sighs> and... Well, let's walk upstairs real quick. Shall we? This is an area where you guys haven't really seen too much of. I mean, I didn't see too much of until earlier. So, that's like a small railing 
sort of. I, I don't know how good a one because it's only knee high. But uh, these doors all come off, which is so cool. You'd be staring right outside. Oh, look, there's a light. I wonder if it works or how it works. How does it work? I don't know. I don't know. I don't see switches. I see wires. I don't know. Okay, well. Nope, no clue. Doesn't matter. So each room, I wonder if the lights work up here. Well, there must be a different electric. So oh, I'm holding my phone all retarded. All right, so, man, how neat is that? They did a, they did a kind of horrible job cutting around it a bit, but super neat looking these these angled doors the storage that this is like i think i think you would call that the the uh oh what's it called um it doesn't matter Let's see nope nope all right so the good thing is I have my flashlight this time. So if you remember, I came this way. So let me go back over here. So uh, here's the stairs. All right. So I'll start from down here real quick, actually. So here's a room. It's got another of the angled deals. That is just a wall. So there's lots of lots of storage all over the place. <clears throat> like lots of storage. <laughs> As you can see, I mean, look how you could you could fit two people in here. My God, just in this closet. Like no joke, you could easily put a single bed on both of these. So and then let's see. Oh, oh yeah, more storage. <laughs> So, anyways, so that's one room, and you got another room right here, and they share that, that, or no, they don't. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. There's another two beds. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, they said people would, like, uh, teachers and stuff would stay here. I just didn't know how many they'd fit in there. So, I don't know. I wonder if they put people in there or not. Is there, those are huge. I know this might not translate over to the the camera too well, but man, this place is just enormous. All right, so then you've got another room, and that is just a closet right there, and then another room. <laughs> As you can see, they're all kind of connected, sorta, or can be anyway, um, and just you know more storage. Yeah, lots and lots of storage. So, anyways, so what we did last time is we came around this way and started towards the back. And there's a door there, and I didn't see what was behind it, but it's not a big deal because there is nothing behind it. Um, I mean, there's there's space, so you can kind of, there we go, you can see. So I got you cooked around the corner here. But it's just above the um, the bathroom and the uh, kitchen, so n nothing, nothing you're gonna stand on. So then we come around this corner, and this is what you guys didn't get to see: the size of these beams and stuff is insane. Uh, I know it's hard to tell, but let me let me put my hand up here. <laughs> That's that's just that one flat. You see how I I'm I don't have small hands. I'm six foot tall and I've got a size eleven foot. My hands are pretty big, and this thing is a monster. I mean, look look at that. 
It, it, unreal. Same with this beam. This beam's a big old honker. So, look at look, look at that. So insanely cool. So you can kind of get through here from this one room also if you want to. And you can see there's doors and this beam's just massive. There was another beam here apparently. Um, they've done all kinds of uh, renovations and stuff over the years, you know, to suit its needs and whatnot. Um, but yeah, one thing that needs to really be done is cleaning, obviously. It's, I don't know what that is. Looks like poop. Um... But yeah, the electrical is insanely horrid. <laughs> it's just, it's unbelievable sometimes what people can do. Or or maybe, should I say not do, because, wow, bad. Um, but yeah, like, check out, check out that beam and, and this. That's that beam I have my hand on. I, it, it's just so big. You see the size of that thing? I mean, it's incredible. Look, look. <laughs> the beams are huge. There's another one of those cool arching beams. And then you got, you look up in the ceiling and it's just, it's so high up there. The, no joke, the peak of that is probably 20 something feet away from me. And I'm on the second floor already. That, and that's why I mean, like, there's a third and a fourth floor if you really wanted it. I mean, check out, check that out. Look, it, it like blends in. Like, look how they, look how they blended the wood kind of together. You, you see those, those cuts? They're like, wow. It's just crazy. Just crazy. Somebody had a field day. So now you go over, this is the other side of the house, and there's only a little bit of this, as you can see. Like, that's where that area is over top of the kitchen. And then, uh, I mean, these walls would come off too and look outside if you wanted to. Um, but I'm walking over top of the back hallway, basically, right now. And then there's a door there, but... I don't know if it'll open or not. Let's see. No, it won't open. But that's okay because you would actually just fall straight into the <laughs> bottom floor. So that's where that goes. Um, and like you could extend it if you really wanted to. There's there's wood and stuff to be able to put, you know, these beams and stuff down across to go all the way if you wanted to. But we won't. All right, so there's another set of stairs. That stair, that set was actually down there because I went up here earlier, like I told you. <laughs> I'm not going to act like this was my first time, but it's still crazy. You know, because, like, I mean, look, the, these doors slide open for I don't know what reason. And then those ones up there also slide. Those little ones slide. I don't know... I'd love to know what all they had going on in here. Um, from what they told me that they know is that they were doing um, tobacco drying and silkworm farming up here. So that's kind of cool. All right, so you can tell somebody stepped in here and you're really not supposed to, at least not on this section because that's just... Kind of like false ceiling for these back rooms and, and hallway and stuff. So, yeah. You can see it's just, it's huge back there. There's so much room. And then over here, you can see we come up the stairs and then there's this area. So we'll come up in here. And this is where I was saying there could be a third floor. Because if you got rid of some of these cross beams and stuff, you could easily... I mean, I, I'm actually able to walk under that beam right there. But look at the, look at that. So cool. Nice little wedge to keep it in. 
the size of these beams are just insane. And look at look at the size of this thing. Look at that. <laughs> like, not even just just yeah. So crazy. That's probably a, a 12 inches, 14 inches, something like that. And then look at the size of these, like 10 by 10s. Golly. So there's a, a bit of a walkway sort of around the outside. Um, there's lots of stuff stored around. Like you can see, there's even like a, uh, a shrine kind of roof. Or a couple of them actually stored up here. Who knows how long they've been here. Um, let's look over here real quick. You can kind of see there's doors over on either side so you can like open it up, get airflow and stuff. They are, I, I haven't even gotten to them yet. So come over here and there's even more stuff stored couple round logs and and stuff uh, some more little sliders and doors this uh, oh that looks like a like an oh, oh okay so this is like an old broom like a handmade broom so you see how that's uh, tied around and look it's tied around this oh, it's hard to show it's tied around that piece of bamboo there and it goes all the way over there so I bet you this was used to like clean up in the rafters and stuff all the areas that you couldn't get to nice that's nice to have and then you got some kind of a basket kind of deal here and then some hook something or another's over there so that's that's this level and then there's this next level so come up in here whoop, and you're up even higher we're getting closer to the doors <laughs> and I mean so this thing is like four four and a half feet tall something like that and standing on that I, I, I there, you can see there's just an empty space in the middle. So that's why I was saying, like, all down, that second floor, then that one and this one could be your third floor. And this could be your fourth floor. I mean, it's crazy. You could easily put tons of stuff in here. I mean, let's see. This is, I'd say, probably eight feet from that corner to this post and five to six feet tall right there so there's plenty of storage space right if you wanted to build some kind of a floor rooms whatever uh and then up here i mean golly the the ceiling height from this upper level like this is five feet tall right here you know I, that's up to my neck almost and you walk on this one, and then you're even higher, and then those doors are another, like, two feet off of this, as you can kind of see. Uh, I don't know if I should try walking over there or not, but it's, a, it's incredible. The, <laughs> the craftsmanship of this place is just unreal, just unreal, and, and the amount of room... In here, I mean, my house, my house, the one I live in in Chieflin, I could probably fit two of them in this open space in the middle here. That's how freaking crazy this is. <laughs> I mean, let's see, this is, oh yeah, it's easily, let's see, 12, 18... A, a t nearly 20 feet across. My house is 14, so I couldn't fit too wide, but I mean, it's pff, 6, 12, that's a 12 or 14 foot ceiling off of this beam. For sure. It's just... I'm flabbergasted. That's a lot of work, obviously. You can imagine I'm going to 
have to open those doors and get up here and start cleaning. Like, just look at the amount, oh, the amount of dust that has accumulated. And I'm sure nobody's cleaned in fucking 10 decades. <laughs> So, yeah, I wonder, oh, no, just some paper, but here's another cool thing is I went into the storeroom a little bit, oh boy, I don't like those boards, those ones are a little, little, I mean, not weak, weak, but they're more bouncy than I like. Still no cracking. Though. You're, not, you're not really hearing cracking except whenever they touch, which is crazy. So, all right, let me get back down out of here. It's just, like I'm saying, it, it's unbelievable. The amount of stuff in here. And, and cool stuff to, you know, really explore and learn about history, all that kind of stuff. So, okay. Get my bearings a little bit. Sheesh. So. I wonder if that works. I bet it does. Oh, it does. Okay. Don't need it. Right now. Alright, so. That's that. I, I mean, can you... Let me know. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. What you think I should do with that. Should I just clean it and leave it? Should I try to do anything up there? Let me know. Let me know what you think. So, alright. So, we got... There's your main entrance. Basically, like your little side main entrance. The Angawa. And then, over there you have an old bathroom. Basically, this used to be a tub and stuff, so that's kind of neat. Uh, and there's the kitchen. And you have the dining room here. So you can see, dining room. Come over through here is the kitchen. And then you've got, back here is the bathroom area. Toilet, sink. Shower room. Uh, I've got the water to run in everywhere. Except the toilet. I don't know why, but it doesn't matter. Um, I found out why they said that it can't be used. And it's only because it's full. I just looked outside. And it's just full to the top. So I just have to get it drained. No big deal. I call somebody in and have that done. So here's that back hallway. Like I said, we were right above there. And then I'll show you real quick the reason why there's that door. Is because, woohoo! <laughs> yeah, there's that door. So you don't want, you would just do plummet. So, and then last time this door was closed. So I got it open. So you can see it goes all the way around the house. This is the back corner, and then you come up into the shrine room. But we'll go in there in just a minute. Let's see. Does this light work? Sure does. Cool. What about that light? Where does that... Where's the... Oh, hey. Here's a key and some names and stuff. Oh, look at those old keys. I bet you those are the old ones for the storeroom. And what are those ones? Now what is that thing? I gotta figure all these out. Oh, uh, there's another key. This is fun. See what I mean? Like, how fun is this? This is... <laughs> I can't not have fun doing all this. Like, this is uh, just incredible. To be lucky enough to own this and be able to explore this, I'm incredibly lucky. So, here we got the uh, Joda Noma. And it's called, that's basically translates to the upper room. So you can see how it's elevated there above all the other floors. And this is for people of importance. 
This is a very important room and your your important guests stay here. It looks like there was a bunch of stuff. There was some stuff hanging on the wall. I haven't really been up in here. I didn't actually come in. Yeah, nothing special. Uh, looks like they had a bunch of things hung up on the walls. Probably pictures and, and stuff. That comes off, I, I noticed earlier. They pretty well cleared this out, so that's kind of nice, but like I was saying, it's not like they cleaned it, cleaned it. They, uh, <laughs> they just threw everything in the outbuildings, basically. Yeah, but they did clean out like all the storage and stuff in the house, so that's something, right? I'll get those lights off. I don't really need the lights on. But yeah, just beautiful, beautiful woodwork. And it just needs a lot of work, as you can see. You know, there's some mold and mildew. Not really mold, more mildew. It just needs to be cleaned, you know, really well. Oh, there must have been sliders right here. I bet that's what some of the ones up top are. Probably these these areas. Oh. So you got another room in here, which was one of the. Yeah, so this one's creaky as all heck. I remember that from last time. There's all kinds of. Uh, storage and crazy and I, I don't know why they did the second floor thing like this on they did it in both rooms um like did you set the kids up there because these rooms are not big yeah I don't, I don't know what the heck how how or why these are laid out the way they are but it's interesting it's interesting for sure you know they got this little window in between and it's different this one's a bit bigger, so I don't know. Maybe that's... Ugh, I have no idea. I really couldn't tell you. But this is big. There's a cool little cutout I didn't notice. Um, and there's doors. So again, like I said, you could extend the walkway up top and, and turn this into a whole other second room. You can see doors up there. And then that's just like a level, you know, and just... Uh, looks like there might be some wood up there or something. And then again, more storage. So there you go. There's some, some of the cranes I was talking about. I mean, look, those are all cranes. All of them. And they're up on the ones on the second floor, too. So... Yeah, let me get these these lights off. We don't need those ones on. All right. Super beautiful. I, I love all these different designs. Oh, gosh. They stepped on the Aurori. I do like the design on the, on the mats. I like that. I might have to emulate that whenever I get new ones. These ones actually aren't really bad. Everything up front, uh, there's a couple that have a couple of stains and stuff, but they're in really nice condition. Um, the ones in that room need to be replaced. The ones in that room are non-existent. The ones in uh, Joda Nama, those are fine. And then these ones are pretty nasty. But might be okay after a clean. I just don't know. But there are a couple stains. Like you see that. And there's one over there. And those are deep, dark, and gross. So they probably won't come out. No big deal. I'm not worried about it right now. Um, gonna have to figure out this floor. There are a couple little soft spots. But they were very hard to even detect. So they're very small. I'm sure it's because this... Uh, it was a kitchen or a um, dining room, and I'm sure people dropped freaking drinks all the time. <laughs> so, yeah, just more and more stores. There's 
one of them beams coming down from the top. So huge. So huge. I need to get an electrical adapter so that I can actually use my laptop and do some editing. I, I forgot about that. I need to get a three prong to two prong adapter. So, yeah, I was trying to figure out the electrical earlier and then I hit the, I just happened to try the, um, the doorbell <laughs> and the doorbell worked. So I'm like, okay, there must be electric on. And uh, I got to figure it out. It was really actually pretty easy. It, it just, everything was kind of turned off and I just had to trace it back, you know, and, and click it on. So, yeah. So, there's just a little storage. I'm not sure what that is. Some kind of heat. Look at the size of that monster back there. There are a lot of spiders all over the place, inside and out. So that's something we're going to work on. There's like a sickle. That's a flu cleaner. So I don't know. Oh, that must be... Huh. So that's a heater for what looks like the water in the tub. Yeah, literally those two outlets right there go into that thing. Well, that's kind of crazy. Old school. <laughs> huh, interesting. So I noticed that there was some kind of a heater type deal outside uh, that could be hooked up. It's probably bad, but it was hooked up to this one and likely that one and the, the hot water in here so it, it's got a pipe that runs all the way along the outside i i've been doing some investigating and fixing already today <laughs> as you can tell let's see oh no nothing special so the bat or the kitchen is actually in pretty decent shape as you can see it really needs to be cleaned um I will definitely be changing all these things, the floor, the cabinets, the ceiling. Like I say, you could say it, it definitely needs cleaning. There's, there's issues. Uh, some of these old lights and stuff gotta go get updated. Uh, this, this fan deal, I mean, look how old that thing is. It don't work. It turns on, which is kind of crazy, but it does not work. So that fan's got to have been gummed up 40 years ago. <laughs> uh, so yeah, all, all kinds of stuff, man. All kinds of stuff. You got the grand tour, basically. Uh, we walked around a whole heck of a lot. We'll go through the outbuildings tomorrow. And uh, let's see, I'm trying to think if I... Missed anything? Oh, I didn't walk into the shrine. I mean, you guys saw it in the other video, but let's let's just go ahead and go in there, and we'll go a little more in depth with a couple things. Um, so yeah, let's go around the corner. And up. Oh. So you can get in from outside. Uh, in multiple ways, that storage, that straight to the outside. Um, and then of course, all these doors and everything all open up. And you got uh, some mats on in each side. And then you got those beautiful dragon heads. So cool. Really great artwork. Uh, I, this, it just needs cleaned so bad. And this is what I'm really worried about. So I've been wanting to look. So we've got that. Oh, it's hard to show. Hold on. Let me scroll in a little. And then maybe we can get a little better. Yeah, let me scroll in some more. We'll go over each, each of the ones. So... 
All right, so that one, we've got some flowers. Not sure what kind. That, that is a fat cat, maybe? I, oh, there we go. I'm not really sure what that is. It's hard to, hard to tell. More flowers. I don't know what the, what these are, so don't don't shoot me in the comments. If you know, please tell me. And then there's some kind of bird. Not sure what that is. And then what do we got here? That's an elephant. What? That's crazy. An elephant with a palm tree. And then what is? Okay, so they're all kind of turned and and funky. That one looks like a oh, there we are, dragon dog something out of there. You know, you're not I'm back out of the hair. That made it easier. There you go, and then back to the storks or cranes. There's one of them. Oh, rooster. I know that one for sure. He looks mad. <laughs> and then some other kind of plant. I gotta put my hand down for a minute. Jeez Louise. I'm holding them both straight up right at the moment. All right, so what do we got? Looks like more flowers or something. That is some kind of dragon cloud something. And then waves in a sunset, I'm pretty sure. And, God, oh, it's so dirty, it sucks. It sucks, I'm gonna have to get the, get the uh, stairs, or the step uh, ladders in here and see if I can't clean that up. Oh. All right, that. Horse, stallion, something or another. Tiger. Uh, I think it's a peacock or maybe a turtle. Maybe a turtle, I think. Another plant, another plant, 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 plant. All right, cool. Oh, look, oh. It's hot and it's hard to hold, <laughs> straight up. So please excuse me if I can't go into too much crazy detail at the moment. I'll do it with a tripod probably tomorrow or the next day or something. But there's just so much cleaning that needs to get done and get all the mold and mildew all cleaned up. Golly, what the heck? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Yeah, there's gonna be all kinds of stuff that I find all over the place. I can imagine all kinds of little hidden gems. So cool. All right, so anyways, it is pitch black outside. I'm gonna get to doing some things and eating a banana cause I am hungry and I'm ready to eat and I haven't eaten still and I, the only thing that I didn't luck out and find was a pot to heat up my water. So, banana for dinner it is. Darn it. I knew I should have got something else, but I didn't. <laughs> oh, well. So, until tomorrow.